Hi Sled and Chloe Knitters and Crocheters. Today I'm going to show you how to make Braided, the new free pattern on the Sled and Chloe blog. So come on around and let's get started. Now this is a really fun scarf to make. It's knitted up in the outer, um, the Sled and Chloe outer, which is, I have some of the colors here, um, and it would look great in any of these colors. I'm using the um, Soapstone colorway and it's number 7200 and that's the one I have for this uh, sample as well. But um, what I want to show you is this scarf has a really unique construction and it's very simple and quick to knit. I'm, I knit it on size 17 needles for the rib section, then I switched to size 13 uh, double pointed needles to make the braided eye cord section. And um, what I'm going to do is show you, I guess, the most confusing part, which it really isn't, but the part that some people might get um, tripped up on a little bit, is when you break into these three I chords and then you go back into um, the rib section again. So there's a six inch rib section, six inch braided I chord, and then you just repeat that until you get the desired length of scarf that you'd like to wear. So what I'm going to show today is just how to start the rib section. So I cast on 15 stitches and I'm going to work, I'm just going to show you a couple rows in the Knit One Pearl One rib. So here we go. I'm going to knit one, bring the yarn in front, and I'm going to purl one. Knit one, purl one. So I'm switching the yarn back and forth between the front and back of the needle. So I bring the yarn in between and then I purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. Just do that all the way to the end. That first row is always a little bit slower until your stitches get on there the way they should be. Okay, so there's one row. So now I'm going to turn it around and for rib, what you always want to do is you want to look um, at the stitch below and you're going to do the same stitch. So I see here I have a purl and the number 15 comes into play um, when you're doing the braided eye cord section. So that's why I selected that number. So here's a purl one. Now I'm going to go back and do a knit one and then a purl one. So I can see I have a knit stitch, so I'm going to do the same for ribbing. That's what you do. But on these big chunky needles, you can really make progress in a quick way with the super bulky weight yarn. The scarf takes three skeins of outer if you'd like to have it the same length as the one that I made. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to knit up this section for six inches and then I'll come back and show you how to do the braided section.